version 3.0 update. Uh, as they say, they uh, fixed some bugs and threw in a couple goodies, and I completely agree. Uh, number one, fixed a bug that caused the ball to be placed on the opposite side of the field uh, if a field goal was attempted and missed um, as the first play of a new quarter. Again, these bugs are all super specific. That's probably normal, but I'm not accustomed to it. I've never seen that glitch. I've had some weird glitches, but I haven't had that one. Number two is adjusted the pass trajectory pass trajectory formula to have the ball um, float less in certain situations, which is awesome. The game's going to look better, right? Uh, you're going to get, I mean, we already don't have the horrible leaping linebacker problem in this game, which is fantastic for dropping the ball, you know, to a tight end or a slot receiver on a seam route. Number three, adjusted receiver actions following a catch, um, hit following a catch on a hitch or a curl or a comeback route um, to prevent unnecessary yard losses. I mean, that's been a problem since like Madden 2002. Uh, like the player goes to make the uh, make the animation for the catch, and uh, he ends up running seven yards backwards. You know, you get this perfect hitch route at the 10 yard line or whatever. You get your first down, and then he sprints backwards when he breaks the tackle and loses seven yards. It's very frustrating, but uh, apparently they fixed that, so it's not going to be happening so much anymore. I imagine it probably still will happen. It's a video game. Uh, number four, added the option for users to be able to press Y or the R key when controlling a player on defense to make a play on a pass or triangle on PlayStation controls. This is fantastic because this has been something that's been bothering me for a while. I would have led with this one if I released this list because that has been annoying to me. And I've already seen it improved. You press it and you get a little bit of an animation of a guy. You get a guy at least looking like he's trying to swat the ball down. It's fantastic. It's a huge, it's it's a small upgrade, but it feels huge in game. Number five, fixed a bug where the user was sometimes unable to select a player on defense. This happened all the time for me. You just occasionally, probably four or five times during a game, couldn't select a defensive player, so you were just stuck with whoever you had, which, again, is playable, but this is such a huge fix for such a small thing. Number six, fixed some pursuit angles that were causing some defenders, especially defensive backs, to under-pursue the runner, leading to some large outside gains. Oh my goodness, this is the one that I should have led with. I forgot this one was in here. Um, yes, this is huge. The... I mean, running to the outside is unbelievably easy. And if they've truly fixed that, like this update says, or at least corrected it enough so it's not going to happen constantly, I mean, it's going to make the game 10 times more enjoyable again. Uh, those pursuit angles, and like, nobody wants to be able to just glitch win throughout the entire the entirety of the game. Like, everyone wants to have their third and long play for, you know, big comebacks or whatever, but to just sprint to the outside and have those horribly, like those horrible tackle angles. If that's fixed, that's a huge improvement. Uh, I'm thrilled about that one. Number seven, adjusted the effectiveness of the speed burst. I I haven't felt anything different, but uh, yeah, I think that one's just gonna take more time playing. And I've only played one game since the update. It's gonna take more time playing to really get a feel for what that means. Uh, number eight, fixed a bug where the uh, colliders on the uprights and the field goal nets were not properly colliding with the ball. Number nine added a QB designed runs to the game. These runs are available in the shotgun, normal, and pistol um, slot formations for AI play calling um, it, and for the categorization, categorization purposes of AI play calling, QB runs fall under um, the inside run category. Um, I don't know why we need to know that because we don't, you know, we aren't the AI, but now you know. And uh, that's pretty cool, except that quarterbacks, when they cross the line of scrimmage, lose most of their speed. They need to fix that. I probably would have fixed that before I put in the quarterback run plays, but that's fine. Number 10, fixed several issues related to memory leaks that were causing um, crashing in Team Creator. Uh, I never ran into those, but uh, I got a lot of comments on my videos and a lot of messages telling me to tell them about it. I don't have any special connection with them, guys. I just use the Discord like anybody else. I try to link the Discord in all of my videos, so it'll be down there. Um, 
For those of you expecting the week two update of the Viola Angry Wagons franchise, it's coming, okay? I've had some crazy stuff happen and uh, I am editing it right now. I paused to put this video up in the meantime because it's not gonna get done tonight. It is coming and it is a double header for more than one reason. <laughs> And you'll have to watch the video to find out why. But it's coming, okay? It'll be there this week. Thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.